So our new section of notes is going to be dealing with what are called natural resources. Natural resources are uh, any natural material that is used by humans, such as water, petroleum, minerals, which of course then would also include rocks, forests, and animals. So basically it's anything that exists naturally in the world that human beings use. The first type of natural resources that we're going to be talking about in this video are what are called non-renewable resources. A non-renewable resource is any resource that forms at a rate that's much slower than the rate at which it is consumed. And this brings me to one of my favorite analogies I use throughout the year um, to explain the idea of non-renewable resources. What I want you to imagine is that you go to a restaurant, okay? And they serve you a small cup of coffee. Mm. Mm. Nectar of the gods. It's very tasty. So you drink your coffee. And you continue to drink it. But your waiter never comes over and refills it. What eventually is going to happen? You're going to eventually run out of coffee. The same goes for non-renewable resources. They're resources that... Once we use them up, once we consume all of them, they're gone. Um, either they are just never coming back, or it takes millions and millions of years for them to form, which is way too long for us to wait. The biggest group of non-renewable resources that human beings use are referred to as being fossil fuels. And these are any non-renewable energy resource formed from the remains of organisms that lived long ago. So they're actually made from things that used to be alive, and that's why we call them fossil fuels. The three best examples of those would be petroleum, natural gas, and coal. The first of the fossil fuels that we're going to talk about is petroleum, which is a mixture of complex hydrocarbon compounds. Hydrocarbon just meaning that they have hydrogen, and carbon as part of their molecules. Um, this is one of the most widely used fuel sources. Um, it's used from anything from gasoline to jet fuel, kerosene, diesel fuel, fuel oil. So petroleum is where the gasoline for your car comes from. Natural gas, on the other hand, is a mixture of gaseous hydrocarbons. Um, so whereas Petroleum was a liquid. Natural gas, of course, is a gas. Uh, these are located underneath the surface of the Earth, and they're often really close to areas where we find petroleum. Once again, it's used as a fuel source, and the main component of natural gas is what is called methane. Methane is what comes out when you break wind. And last but not least, coal a uh, fossil fuel in solid form that forms underground from partially decomposed plant material. Coal is the largest natural resource in Virginia. That's uh, Virginia's major export. Um, typically used to make electrical energy, as coal is subjected to more heat and pressure, it becomes more purified. Uh, when coal is only about 60% carbon, we don't even call it coal, we call it peat. As the carbon content increases, peat changes into lignite, lignite changes into bituminous coal, and bituminous coal eventually changes into what is called anthracite coal, which is 90% carbon. The more carbon content you have inside, the more cleanly it will burn. Therefore, of the four, anthracite burns the most cleanly. The other non-renewable resource that I think is important to note, uh, even though it's not a fossil fuel, are minerals. Uh, any of the minerals that you learned about in class are examples of non-renewable resources. What that means is that our planet has a limited supply of them. After we've used up all of those resources, those minerals will be gone just like anything else. They take millions and millions of years to form, so unfortunately, once we use them all up, no more minerals. You may be happy about that because you don't have to do the mineral ID labs anymore. Whee!